I'm gonna show you how we take a plain piece of wood like this and turn it into something like this. Let's jump over to the computer and use Lightburn so I can show you how this is designed and laid out. Okay, so we are using Lightburn today for this. And this is actually a file that we have available on our Etsy page, something that we kind of made up here. You'll notice uh, the cutout size here, there is a blank space at the bottom. And that's so you can add your own text or your own name. You can do that here in Lightburn if you want to, grab the text tool, and go ahead and put it here. If I was a firefighter, I could put my name in here and then you can just reposition it however. So I think that's great to be able to do something like that in Lightburn. We're not gonna put a name on it today because in our store, we actually sell more of these uh, without a name on it, just a plain little plaque. So we're gonna take a look here. This size, if you look at it, it's eight inches by six inches. So we want to change that. We're gonna change it to five inches. You can actually just drag this if you want to. Uh, to where it's on five, or you can go up here to the top and you can change the size directly to five inches. Now, when you do that, it actually kind of repositions everything and moves it. So we want to center it up. The only problem is all of these are separate pieces here. So we want to group those first. And I'll show you a little bit trick. Some people don't realize to group those. Uh, we already have this selected. Hold down shift and select the other items that you want to group together. And then up at the top, there are these little, looks like people, a single person, then a group of people. Click on the group of people and it groups those items together. So now all we need to do is we need to select all of these. We'll select the cutout and the engraving. And now that all of that is selected, if we'll go up here to the top. This looks like a little target, but this is center uh, both vertically and horizontally. So when we click on that, it centers everything up nicely. And that's just a quick, easy way to do that. So let's jump on over to our settings now. For the engraving, we're, we're using this. It, it's like an eighth inch uh, pure bond maple made by Columbia Forest. And we really like how it engraves. And the settings that we use for engraving, it's 600 speed uh, with 60% power. So we use millimeters per second, 600 millimeters per second, and 60% power. We engrave this with the air assist off. Now for our cutout, if we move down here, for the cutout shape, we do this at 20 millimeters per second and 60% power with the air assist on. So that's our settings for this. Um, you'll wanna play around with that if you don't have an 80 watt laser. We have a Nova 35 80 watt laser. So that's the settings that we are using uh, you may have to adjust those uh, for your laser a little bit. The other thing that we want to do is we want to go over here um, on our laser. We want it to start from the current position, but we want to change the job origin. So I'm going to change this. It's set for the top left-hand corner now. I'm going to change it to the top right-hand corner. And you'll see that reflected by this green square that shows up in the top right-hand corner now. And I'll show you why we've done that in just a second. But now that we have uh, all of this set up the way that we want it, um, our power settings, our speed settings are all right, we want to send this to the laser. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on send. You can give it a name if you want to, or you can just leave it as light burn. We're gonna leave it as light burn. And it's gonna tell us that the file already exists and if we want to overwrite it. I'm fine with doing that. If you want to give it a unique name, you can. We're just gonna overwrite that name. And now it has sent to the laser, so we're ready to jump on over to the laser. The wood is already in the laser, so let's take a look. So you'll see with this piece of Pure Bond Maple, we have our empty space, uh, unused space here in this corner here. So that's why I changed the origin to the top right corner. It's just easy for placement. We also have this pin down with these little um, honeycomb uh, pins here. And this is a different one than we've used in the past. You've seen me use these orange ones in the past, and both of these have things about them that I like and things that I dislike. I may do a video later actually comparing both of these, but uh, today we're just gonna use these blue pins. And now we're gonna move the laser head over to where we want it to start at. So we're gonna have it start there in that corner and I'm gonna press the origin button. So I set an origin. We also use this piece of six millimeter acrylic here to set our focus, to make sure our focus is right where it needs to be. 
Now that we have our focus set and our origin set, all we have to do is load the file on the controller. And once it's loaded, go ahead and press start. We are gonna speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch this whole thing engrave. So now that this has finished, you will notice that it has some of the little soot, uh, kind of the residue that is left on it. That's because we didn't tape over this material or we didn't pre-finish it or else we could just wipe it off. But I'm actually going to take this to the shop where I have some fine grit sandpaper. I'm going to sand over it very lightly. You'll see with just a little bit of sanding that this cleans up really nice. In case you're interested, we have both a police officer version and a firefighter's version of this file on our Etsy page. There's a link to it down in the description below this video. As you can see, this was pretty simple and it makes a nice gift for someone. Or if you have a store like us, you can sell these things. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.